Hi, Mark Gordon with the Gold, Silver, and Stock Report on Tuesday, August the 7th, 2012. This is the GLD, the Gold ETF, uh, down just one one hundredth of a percent today, fighting a battle here just underneath this green dotted line, which is the 100-day moving average. We have clearly broken the back of this downtrend that was in place since March. And uh, you can see the tops. I drew a line along just, just perfectly uh, uh, overhead top line here. We have broken that. Uh, we did that uh, uh, last week. And now we are trading above it using this line as a support line here. We are over the blue line here, which is the 50-day moving average. We are over the red line here, which is the 21-day moving average. And uh, those are now turning to the upside. Uh, something they have not done in quite some time. Uh, actually, have to go back to uh, March to see those uh, to see the 50-day moving average in an uptrend. So things are changing on the GLD. Um, if you look, uh, uh, you'll see a sort of a cup-shaped pattern starting to form here, kind of a rounding bottom. This is a nice shape. Uh, these uh, tend to uh, uh, keep going. Uh, nothing's for certain ever in trading, but uh, I love seeing cup shapes, um, and uh, uh, I also love to see a handle form uh, as the cup moves up the right side. Uh, volume has not been particularly good here. Uh, we've had heavier selling of volume than, than uh, uh, upward volume. Uh, we do have anemic volume as we move to the upside. Hence, we're having trouble getting through this 100-day moving average as uh, traders are using that as a place to unload shares. But uh, clearly, the momentum is shifting uh, to the upside. Um, looking now at some of the indicators, this is the MACD, moving average convergence divergence. That is looking positive. Uh, the slower blue line is pointed up, and the black line is above the blue line. Great sign there. Stochastics down here. Um, <clears throat> are pointed to the upside. Uh, the black line, uh, uh, the faster moving line, has crossed the red line to the upside. Good sign there. And uh, we are not overbought yet. And when we get over 80, we'll be overbought. But uh, so far, we have more room to run on the upside, according to the stochastics. So things changing in the gold. And moving on to silver now, this is the SLV downtrend, just like the gold since March. Uh, nice tops line here, um, uh, just just like the gold. We broke out of that, and uh, very similar to the gold, and um, are now trading above the 50-day moving average uh, solidly. We came uh, uh, above it here, pulled back, tested this overhead trend line, which became support, and then bounced off that. So we've had a nice week here so far uh, in the silver. Uh, certainly, uh, getting above uh, and staying above this 50-day moving average is key if we're going to make a run up here to the 100-day moving average. So uh, silver is below the 200, the 100, but has now cleared the 50-day. That line is flattening out and uh, uh, may start uh, pulling to uh, the upside here, which would be great. Your red line 21-day moving average is clearly moving to the upside as well. So much like with the gold market, we are using this downward trending line as a point of support. And um, <clears throat> you can also see uh, possibly a rounding type bottom forming uh, on the silver here. Uh, it would be nice to get this cup shaped pattern in the silver as well. Don't like this chart as much as the gold because we're down below some of these key moving averages, but I do see the momentum shifting slowly in the silver. Uh, once again, our volume has not been particularly good. You have some uh, uh, spikes in volume as it moved to the downside. Big gap here. Uh, a lot of scared investors trying to take profit after this little leg up. Um, perhaps that'll happen again as uh, your, you know, your shorter term traders get a little leery and want to lock in profits. Uh, they say you take the stairs up and the elevator down. So we could get a elevator down move. Hopefully we get support down here at this trend line or possibly here at the 21 day moving average. Better yet, getting support at the 50 day moving average. Uh, moving on now down to our indicators. Clearly the MACD is running to the upside and has been since early July here. Um, the stochastics are pointed to the upside, but in the overbought area. Uh, that doesn't uh, mean that we can't run higher, but uh, the momentum uh, clearly uh, has played out. Uh, if we do stay above the 80 mark for three days in a row, 
Both lines have to come up there, by the way. Then we will be locked in, and that's when you get your big runs. But uh, so far, overbought on the stochastic. So uh, I would expect some sort of a pullback, um, you know, uh, in the next uh, few sessions. But silver changing its uh, course to the upside now, losing that downward momentum. Good sign. And moving on now to the gold miners, this is the GDX, the gold miners ETF. Uh, we are at that point here where we're trying to get above this overhead trend line here, which is clearly uh, showing a downtrend on the gold stocks. Um, but uh, we broke through it here a little bit, uh, still not out of the woods. Woods volume has been tapering off as we've moved higher. Um, not a great sign here. Getting held back by this blue line, the 50-day moving average. Gold stocks still showing weakness, uh, unlike uh, the gold and the silver. So let's see what happens here. It would be great to get a move to the upside, challenge this 100-day moving average, and break through that. Get a couple of two day, two at least two days of closes above this downward sloping trend line and above the 50-day moving average, and I think we could start to see the momentum shift in the gold stocks. And looking at stocks now, this is the NASDAQ composite up uh, uh, almost nine-tenths of a percent today. We've had a nice run, came back down to this lower trending area here and have bounced up third update in a row. Um, massive gap up here on Friday session and, and running higher. Uh, we're going to come into some uh, resistance here at this overhead trend line, but that's way up here. It's about another 50 points up. So um, up above the uh, Bollinger Band here. Uh, this gray shaded area, this is an algorithm designed to keep prices within it 95% of the time. So anytime we get above that, I get a little leery. And uh, I start to uh, uh, expect a pullback here. Uh, moving on now to our indicators here, we see the MACD has turned higher. Uh, uh, momentum really, really coming in here. And stochastics in the overbought area spiking higher. So uh, possibly going to run out of a little gas here uh, with... Um, with the momentum here, because it has been a very steep rise here, um, uh, you know, uh, I would expect some sort of a pullback here in the next few sessions here. Maybe challenge support down here at this 100-day moving average. You'll notice the 50-day moving average down here, this blue line, is now sloping decidedly to the upside. Great sign there. 21-day uh, red line here doing the same thing. Lots of upside momentum in stocks right now. And last but not least, looking at the S&P 500, back up here, challenging that upper trend line here uh, uh, on a pickup in volume here, up about a half of a percent today, well above the 50-day moving average, which is pointed up, and well above the 21-day moving average. So lots of good momentum in stocks right now, definitely in an uptrend. I would expect a pullback. Thanks for listening.